<laughs> Hi YouTube. When people say they want to go to heaven, what they really mean is they want to find peace. <laughs> Start with yourself. Work on yourself. The outer layers of all creatures is delusion. The inner layers of all creatures is God, or heaven, or peace, or bliss, or joy, or love, untainted, unselfish, perfect love. That gives everything and wants nothing in return. That is what heaven is. Start with yourself. Uncover the layers, the layers of mind which you have allowed over many years to get covered in lots of different opinions, in lots of different thoughts, in lots of different layers of confusion. Break through all those layers of confusion, like trying to open an Easter egg. Break through all those layers of confusion, like trying to, like trying to find a balloon that's covered in paper mache. Open that Christmas present. Find where heaven really is. Ask just as quickly as you are to open a Christmas present at Christmas. So must you be with the self. If you want to find the true meaning of heaven, if you want to truly find happiness, if you want to truly find where the diamonds are, if you truly want to find that Rolex watch, if you truly want to find the gold within yourself, if you truly want to find that 10 bedroom mansion, start with yourself. Uncover all that confusion, all those layers of opinions that people have given you since the moment you were born. Those people didn't have the answers that you wanted, therefore they confused your young mind with lots of different opinions. Lots of different opinions have confused your mind starting from the very moment you were born. To break free is to be free. To be free as the phoenix is free. To be free as a bird is free. <laughs> everything you want, everything you need is already within you. You only have to find it. People think committing suicide solves the problem. It doesn't. Suicide only takes you down to an even worse level of darkness. Because the thought of suicide come, already comes from your own confusion. And that confusion only adds to, adds to even deeper layers of confusion. So actually suicide or even failing to or even attempted suicide, or even failing to do suicide, even thinking about suicide, adds to more and more confusion, which creates depression, which creates even more suicidal thoughts. And those suicidal thoughts lead to even more depression. <laughs> there is only one way out. If you really want the way out, if you really want the peace, if you really want happiness, then there is only one way out. And that is to destroy those layers of confusion. The only way you can do that is to free the mind. To go within, to find out who you really are. The answers are already within you. You have the key. You have the candle. Don't curse the darkness. Light the candle and be free. The candle is there waiting for you to light it. You don't have to sit in the darkness. You don't have to sit in despair and misery and melancholy. You don't have to sit there in pain. You can light the wee candle. You can light the, the little candle, the wee candle. You can light it and you can be free now. Or you can choose to go on living in depression, in anxiety adding more and more layers of confusion to your already heavily burdened mind. Your heavily burdened mind you will take to the next life. In other words, the next time 
when you go into the astral world, you'll be full of confusion, you'll be full of pain, you'll be full of misery. And you will know in your in, in your intuition, you will be told by your intuition, which is God within you. She will say, she will whisper to you. She will say the answers you were looking for, the happiness and the bliss, were already there waiting for you. Now you, you know you have destroyed it. You've destroyed your life. Now you must live in purgatory. You must live in pain. You must live in suffering to overcome this purgatory, to overcome this karma of trying to destroy yourself. If you destroy yourself, you destroy God. Because God is a self. All creatures are God. All creatures are love. To see anything other than God is is the worst kind of sin you can think of. Everything is God. Everything is love. That is the greatest honour you can give to yourself. And you can give to God and you can give to everyone. Seeing everything as God. It's not wishful thinking, it's the truth. Or you can continue living your life in pain and suffering. Cursing everyone apart from yourself. When you are the only one responsible in your world. You, you are the only one that can change your world. If you are the only one that can change your world. Then it's entirely 100% up to you to change your world. Someone's not going to come along and wave the magic, the magic key or the magic word. You have to take the action. You have to grab the reins. You have to put your foot on the accelerator. Keep both eyes on the road. Don't look beha behind you at the past. Don't look at the sides. Don't look at the traffic next to you. If you compare yourself with other people, then you will surely crash. You need to concentrate right in front of you, dead ahead. You do need to look into the mirrors to where you've been in the past, but only casually look at them for a split second. Keep your eyes securely on the way ahead. If you know your way home, then you will find your way home. Go with great joy. Be free now and forever. This is my only wish for each of you. This is my only wish for all of you. I want all of you to be free. I want all of you to be happy. I want all of you to, to be with God. As I feel my mind, body and soul are with God now. I can feel it 110%. I can feel it in every part, in every atom of my being. I can feel the great joy. I can feel the great bliss. And I know it's worth it. When I first started this journey of meditation, I spent many night times wishing why I'd even bit started. The road ahead is much more difficult because you're trying to look within. You're trying to see the road home within yourself. It's so much easier to look at the road outside of yourself and see the way. But you need to look within to the inner road which takes you to the golden pyramid within the self. No one's going to hold your hand and take you there. You each have to have the intuition, have the initiative, have the intuition, have the fortitude, have the willpower and the tenacity to, to walk the way home. Get in that car, put your foot on the accelerate, accelerator and race towards your home, the golden pyramid, made out of diamonds, made out of gold, made out of beautiful crystals. It's within yourself. You don't have to go anywhere. It's much cheaper than leaving the house. It's much cheaper than, than going anywhere. Everything you do is expensive, but the way home leads to the ultimate bliss, and it doesn't cost a penny. It doesn't cost a penny. All you have to do is close your eyes and concentrate on the source of who you are. Find the source of who you are. Think of those questions. Let the questions pass. Observe the questions. 
But then ask yourself, where do these questions come from? Keep asking yourself, where, where does this question come from? Where does that question come from? Where does this question... Every time you have a thought, ask yourself, where does the thought come from? Eventually you will get to the point of nothing and you'll realise who you are in reality. You are nothing and you are everything all at the same time. God is everything and God is nothing. God is zero and God, and God is everything. This is the teaching of Zen Buddhism. This is what Bodhidharma taught me. You must find your way home. It is within the self. Only you can do it. If you want to be free, if you want to be happy, then it's up to you. Or you can go on living in pain and in suffering and in, and in great turmoil and depression. You can continue that or you can look within the self and find your own way home. If you want to be free as I am, then each of you must do it. This, the evolution of the world is speeding up. Sooner or later, everyone will be compelled to do it. Choose wisely. Use every ounce of your intuition. Follow your heart, not your cock. Follow your heart, dear ones. Follow your heart. May you all be blessed. May you find great joy, love and peace and bliss in this world, now and forever. God bless you all. I hope you all find great joy. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless, 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 God bless.